Hey, YouTube viewers. Today we're going to look at how to make a plot chart. And we're going to keep it super simple and quick. So the first thing you want to do is get your list of data. So this is my list. I have one third, one fourth, and they're all back. And I'm going to turn them into a, a chart. And here's how easy it is. First, you just want to make like an L, like this. And then you want to go through and make a label for each one of these things. So I see one third, so I'm just going to make a one third label. One fourth, well, that's not the same as one third, so I'm going to make a different label. Two eighths, technically, there could be something I could do with this, but for simplicity, we're just going to put it in its own pile. Five eighths, so that looks different, so we're going to put five eighths. Four eighths, also different, so I'm going to create, I'm creating a list of all the different types of sizes I have, all the different fractions. One fourth, I've done that already. One third, done that already. Two eighths, five eighths, two eighths, done that. Two eighths, done that. One third, one fourth, one eighth. Do I have one eighth? I don't have a one eighth, so we're going to list that one. And five eighths, already have it. So now that I have like little, I think of like little buckets that I can place everything in, I'm just going to count how many should go in each bucket. And that's how you create a little chart. So instead of representing data this way, you're just kind of putting it on a little list and say, well, how many of each type do I have? So let's count how many of one-thirds we have. Well, we have one one-third, two one-thirds, and three one-thirds. So I'm going to put three X's. Now I'm going to go on to the one-fourths. Well, we have one one-fourth, two one-fourths, three one-fourths. So I'm going to put three X's. I'm going to go on to the two eighths. We have one two eight, two two eights, three two eights, four two eights. I'm going to go ahead and put four x's. Now we're going to go on to five eights. I have one five eights, two five eights, and three five eights. So I'm going to put three x's. Now I'm going to go on to four eights. I have one four eight, and that's it. So it gets one x. Now I'm going to go on to 1 8, and I have 1 1 8, that's it, so I'm going to put 1 X. And that's all you do. You just take a chart. First, make sure you have everything labeled along the bottom, what we might call the X axis. And then you just list how many you have. And it's just another way to, to read and communicate how many of each type you have. On the next video, we'll show you some things you can do with this. All right, great work.